Hello, it's Paul, reporting from my garden shire on Friday, June 22nd. It's the first full day of summer, and uh, I had a major harvest a couple days ago of uh, lettuce and collard greens and chard underneath this hoop tunnel on my left here, and uh, it was it's just uh, so gratifying to grow, grow plants protected uh, from the bugs underneath these hoop tunnels. I'm getting a really, really good harvest. And over here are my gooseberries, and they're doing great. And then I have some blackberries here, and I pruned off a few of the little buds that were starting to flower. I don't want them to flower yet this year. I don't want them to flower this first year. And here's some calendula and some chamomile. And I have a little sage and thyme herbs tucked, tucked down in there. And I've been able to harvest uh, two green cabbage and two red cabbage out of the soup tunnel so far and, and share them with my brother and sister. And that's been really, really fun. And uh, the, the cabbages are doing great. There's no bugs. The soup tunnel has worked excellent. And over here I have, uh, starting off with five cucumbers and they are making their way up. My little trellis, doing great. And I've been pruning off the um, horizontal runners at the base of the uh, cucumber vines. All, all these vines, I've, I've, I'm pruning off most of the horizontal runners to keep the bottom of the plant clean and uh, direct the energy to go up the trellis out into the sun rather than diffuse at the base. These are uh, two butternut squash and these spaghetti squash are really going crazy and uh, they've, they've they're coming over the top of the fence now, which is which is very cool. There'll, there'll be fruit on both sides of the fence, and and I'll I'll go over on the other side and tie them up when they, you know when they start forming over there. And uh, down here on the right is a row of melons. I have about four different kinds of melons that are coming up, and they're a little slow. I think next year I'll plant these melons where the spaghetti squash is now. That, that that's the best sun spot on this north fence, north side of this fence. And down here I have three green zucchini and three yellow zucchini, and they're just doing great. They're, they're, they're giant plants, and uh, this is the first time I've really seen a zucchini plant grow without any um, inhib inhib inhibitions, uh, without any constraints. And I've, I've picked a few uh, fruits and shared them, and that's and uh, I was trying to stimulate more fruit growth. I guess you, if you um, prune the little guys, then it stimulates the plants to produce more uh, so that's what I'm doing. And over here I have uh, some more lettuce and some parsley and cilantro and another, another um, butternut over there. And uh, these are bush beans coming in here. And uh, have my compost bins. Got some bush beans coming in here and there's a, a melon plant, a melon uh, tucked in there uh, coming up around the uh, those trellises. And here are the yellow zucchini they're doing great they had started off getting yellow leaves and I and I realized I needed to fertilize them a little bit more uh, pay a little more attention to the fertilizing so I've done that and they've the leaves aren't turning yellow anymore so that was good and uh, down here in my little rock garden I have oregano and some basil and here's my strawberry patch and I've been watching the strawberry patch like a hawk and uh, wouldn't you know it I got I got totally caught I got totally caught by surprise and uh, a couple bugs and, and different mildews and uh, things came in and really decimated my strawberry patch here. Uh, so I, I got, you know, maybe a quarter or two of fruit out and there's a little bit of fruit left, but the strawberry patch got, got attacked and I just, I fell asleep on the job and, and didn't, uh, it happened so fast that I was caught off guard and, and my, de my strawberries were decimated. Um, here's uh, my rhubarb and this is going to be, this is the second generation, I've already done a complete harvest and uh, pepper plants are doing great. I have five peppers in here and this, these plants are a little too close together. These are, there's Brussels sprouts, um, broccoli and cauliflower and even a cabbage tucked in here. So these are way too close together. I, I, uh, this is the first time I've grown Brussels sprouts and broccoli and uh, cauliflower for that matter. So I, I just uh, way underestimated. I could even maybe take one of these out or something. But And uh, here's some more lettuce and some onions and, and my First of five tomatoes 
can't remember what they are. I'd have to find the label, black cream, and I have a Roma and a cherry, a sun gold. And uh, the peas are doing great. They are almost to the top of the trellis. These are uh, sugar snap peas. And uh, they're starting to get, get some mature peas down there, looking good. And over here is uh, dry beans rising up on these on these trellises and they've the, the vines have maxed out at the top of this trellis too so that's encouraging and uh, here's another tomato and these are pole beans uh, eaten beans they're not dry beans they're, they're pole beans and they're they've had a late start but they're finally catching up and over here there's a couple more tomatoes and and down at the base you'll see um, I have uh, nasturium and borage which I, I've heard have can be um, like distract the bugs from your plants so I'm trying that as ground cover and I, and I had a lot of lettuce down here as ground cover as well that, that's worked out great and oh and uh, uh, in this hoop tunnel is all my kale and I have curly kale Sinto and Russian and I've gotten three good harvests out of, out of the kale already so far and uh, far side here that's there's my I have spinach lettuce chard and collard greens and and onions and mustard greens and I have taken numerous harvests out of that tunnel and everything is still going uh, great so it's been really fun and encouraging to get so much so much produce out of the, out of the plants uh, other, in previous years when I haven't had the hoop tunnels I've just been decimated by bugs and uh, this is the first year I really had fun with some great looking vegetables um, and over here are the potatoes and I had to take the hoop tunnel off they just were getting too big so there's uh, red potatoes on the right and Yukon Golds on the left Yukon Golds that is and uh, you can see they're flowering and I had to put some stakes in here because we've had a lot of rain and those plants were getting knocked down so I had to, I had to pull them up and uh, here here is my here are my beets and carrots and I've been really meticulous about Harvesting the leaves out of this beet patch that have a leaf miner, so I'm trying to keep the leaf miner out And it seems like the more I prune these um, Beet leaves they the plants respond by just putting up better bigger and better leaves than the ones I pruned so I Think it's a good strategy to get those any leaves any leaves with leaf miner in it uh, get them out and uh, down here I have uh, Sweet potatoes, and I've never grown them before, and I'm, and I'm realizing that they have a viney pattern, and I'm trying to keep them in, in this box. So I've been, I have a couple of uh, landscaping stakes that I'm actually trying to guide these vines uh, to where I want them to grow in, in this little box here. And um, this is my asparagus patch, and I, I put a couple potatoes in where the asparagus crowns didn't start, just for temporary. So those are a couple potatoes that are just thrown in there. And um, in general, I've just been monitoring the garden real closely, and any leaves that have any sign of disease, I, I take them out right away. And uh, let's go uh, one more, one more part of the garden here we want to check out, and that is the uh, the corn patch. So <laughs> it's a little bit too densely planted, but uh, I, there's a lot of really good healthy corn in there, and I don't see any signs of pests or disease or anything. Uh, so that's good and uh, back behind there I have you can see that I'm focusing in on that there's a, a, a spaghetti squash there and, and there's a butternut tucked in over there that's, good, that's going to climb up and I have another butternut tucked in over here butternut squash that's going to climb up over this fence so within a couple weeks those vines will be up over the top of the fence and uh, that's it for the uh, garden tour today thanks a lot